Okay. <clears throat> Gonna do a quick tutorial on how to install a RetroPie image. Just for uh, everybody that's new to this, just trying to figure it out and make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, you're gonna need two programs. One of them is gonna be called SD Card Formatter. Okay, the other one is Win32 Disk Imager. You download both of those ahead of time, you have them ready to go. And then uh, download your base image. You can get the one we're using right now mostly is Motion Blue. You can get that off of the website, retromaniacus.com. Sorry, retromaniacus.com. So what we're going to do, I got my SD card plugged into the computer. We got to format it ahead of time, even if it's brand new and it's empty already. So you're going to open up SD card formatter. Okay. There's a couple different settings in here we need to do. First off, you need to know which drive your SD card is plugged into, okay? I know this one's plugged into H because that's the only one <laughs> that has anything in it right now, okay? So, it'll be called boot. That's how you can tell your SD card should always be called boot to my knowledge. You're going to go into options, and change the format type to full erase. Don't know if that's necessary, I just always do it just to be safe. Um, quick just gives you an option to possibly get your data back which to me means that it, you didn't get rid of it all the way. Format size adjustment. Turn that on. Okay, it's so got these two settings. Format type full, size adjustment on, then click OK. That's pretty much all there is to do with this. So you're going to click format. It'll ask you, do not remove the drive during format. Are you sure you want to format? Yes. done. Okay, it'll tell you right here. Um, smaller SD cards are going to be FAT32. If you have a 128, I believe it, it formats it to XFAT. Either way, those are good to go. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to take Win32 Disk Imager. You're going to open that up. Okay, Now again, you need to know where your SD card is plugged into. Mine's plugged into H. That's right here where it says device. And then the image file. This is the file that you're going to be writing to the SD card. Now, in most cases, when you download an image, it's going to be zipped. So you have to extract it first. Extract it to a folder where you know where it is. I keep all my stuff in this folder called PyROM sets. Okay. Motion, motion blue base image, okay, right here. So there's my zip, I extracted it, this is what you're left with. Um, you should not be, if it says .img already, don't extract it. I've seen some people extract that to where they get two separate files and trying to go even farther. The only time you need to extract it is if it's a zip or RAR or anything like that, okay. So I know where it is. It's in Pyrom sets. We're going to click this little folder to find it. Just to make it easy for you. Okay. It's on desktop. Pyrom sets. Motion blue base image. Okay. I'm going to click it so that it's highlighted and then I'm going to click open. Okay. Now it's listed here in the file name. Okay, you see that? And this is the device we're writing it to. The SD card is in drive H. That's it. You don't need to worry about any of these. Just hit write. Writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Okay, I'm going to pause this so we don't have to watch. It's kind of slow. I'll be back. Okay, so it's finishing up right now. OK, 
okay it says write successful that's how we know it was good no problems alright I'm gonna click OK and you can go ahead and exit